Welcome back, everybody, and it is time for episode three as we attempt to bring Tipton Town all the way to the top of the English football world. And this is an important match here because we're playing the Old Wolfrunians, and this is a battle between second and third place. I know it's early, but it's definitely a good early test of how good our squad is. And oh, right off the bat, six minutes in, we see that we're going to have a tough time today as we give up a goal right off the bat. So hopefully this gets a little better. We might have to switch from being cautious to being a little more positive. We're going to have to get a little, a little more aggressive out there. Haven't had a shot on goal. Granted, it's super early, and we tend to be a second-half club. Uh, it seems like a lot of the good things for me have happened in the second half of these matches, but I just don't know. Uh, I'm not feeling real confident at the moment. There's Chris Parr with his second yellow card of the year, and then Shooker gets one as well. We're probably going to need to think about some subs here. But, oh, that's going to be a yellow card. Definitely. Oh, it was a red card. Goodbye. Well, it's halftime, and... We're looking at a difficult situation, but we've got a man up for the rest of the match. Let's start attacking. And I'm also going to go ahead and probably swap out these guys that have yellow cards just so we don't end up in a situation where we're even yet again. And let's hope that this is the, the crew that can get this done. No, I don't want that. Let's give some team instructions. I think we're good here. Uh, you know what, let's work the ball into the box. Come on, guys. We've got an advantage here. Why can't we take advantage of it? There we go. Here's our chance. No. Oh. I'm facing a 10-man squad, and I can't get a goal. Come on, we at least got to get one point out of this thing. Man. This does not bode well for the season if we don't start building this squad. Good night. Very attacking. Come on. Get me a goal. Only a few minutes left. We can't even get control of the ball. There we go. No, there we don't. There are definitely some holes in this squad that need to be dealt with soon. All right, Tessum. Beautiful, beautiful. There it is. Okay. Cameron Walker with his second goal of the season. Assist by Joe Tessum, who's been one of the shining spots on this team so far. Never mind the fact that he had that red card in the first match and missed the second match. But since then, he's been absolutely outstanding. That was such a great assist. Nice. And then waiting for Walker to get, get it clear and get the goal. Now let's get another one. And it looks like we're going to end up with one point. Well, uh, obviously you don't like to see that, especially when you have him 11 to 6 on shots, and he was down a man the entire time. But we'll take the point. Let's see where that puts us in the standings now. That probably dropped us. Okay, so we dropped to fourth. We're seven points. We're still only three points out of first. Gornel's the... Uh, the big one ahead of us right now, but we've got two wins, a draw, and a loss on the season. It's early. There's plenty of time uh, to get this built. So as we continue to look for the best players for our team, we're also always looking for the best staff, and we've now added Gareth Piper to be the new head of youth development. Uh, so hopefully he will bring some much-needed assistance in trying to find those young players that we can develop or develop the existing ones that we already have. So we'll see what that bodes for us. Uh, he's got an eight in working with youngsters, fives and sixes. Five and six in judging player ability and potential. Nothing great, but remember I am... Big win for the team today over Team Dudley. We got a three nothing win. Another, uh, we got a penalty kick goal by Joe Tessum, who continues to have an outstanding season since that opening day red card. Marley Blair with one at the 16th minute. Luke Giver in at the 71st minute. So let's see where that puts us at this point now in the season. 
uh, as we finally get those three points that we've much needed going into another clash against a lower ranked team. We are now right near the top. We're in second place, just two points behind all Scott Heath. That matchup's going to be coming down the road. Looking forward to that one. You can see Joe Tessum with four goals, even though he missed basically two entire matches. Uh, eight players with one assist, so nobody really kind of stands. All right, so I wasn't going to show this match, but I've got to show this. We're down a man. We've been down a man almost the entire match, and McCormick gets the free kick, and he curls it in. Oh, my goodness. We just had a goal disallowed for being offside just a minute ago. Uh, but I've played almost this entire game down a man because of a red card early. I was actually two yellow cards in the first, I don't know. Um, let's see. The second one came at 26 minutes. So the fact that I'm playing a fifth-place team and I've managed to come back uh, we were actually tied at one at the time of the red card. Gave up a second goal shortly after. Uh, the, man, the fact that I've managed to come back and hopefully uh, eke out a point out of this thing is fantastic. All right, so we're just looking over the current roster, and this is my best 11. Uh, we've got Walker and Craig are actually considered to be our best upfront players, uh, which is interesting because they aren't the ones that have been getting a lot of the playing time. There's Tessum at 47 years young, uh, who's been our best central midfielder so far. And uh, it looks like we've got a couple of weaknesses, especially on defense that we need to work on. Maybe need to look for a better left back. Uh, goalkeeper, we're in good shape. We've got some nice goalkeepers there. We could probably use a little more help at midfielder. So uh, I'm looking at right defensive winger and a left fullback are kind of the two areas of greatest concern right now for me. So we'll see if we can fill those holes. So as we prepare for our next match, we're looking at our monthly coach performance review. We're into November of 2019 now. They're pretty happy with a few things. Concerned, of course, about our 0-0 draw that we had a few weeks back against the Seek Hunters. Uh, concerned about Joe Tessum's recent performances. I guess he's not been doing as well as he started out the season. But, uh, you know, it's tricky when you're dealing with a, an amateur squad to be able to do these things. And I've got a lot of people that are unhappy about playing time because I'm constantly turning over the roster, bringing in new talent. But I know at some point I've got to settle in and allow these guys to start to build some cohesiveness and work together. So I uh, probably won't be adding a whole lot more uh, as long as I don't lose people. All right, so we're into a big match here against Wren's Nest, an important one that we definitely need to have. And there's a beautiful goal by Luke Giverin to get us started in the third minute off a free kick. Beautiful. Really need this, this win today. We are currently sitting at four points out of first place. And uh, even with this win, depending on what happens elsewhere, we may remain four points out. I think we need to be in the top two for promotion, so that's where we want to be. playing this cautious right now but we may change our style as the match wears on but so far so good I like what Giverin's doing so far we're into the 10th minute see if we can get a good cross here uh, oh beautiful by McCormick the pitch is not in great shape as you can see oh yes Wow, what a goal by Cameron Walker. The keeper came out too far, and he got burned by a nice header. That was nice. Third goal of the season for him. Let's see that one again. Starts off with Nash, who's my, my latest addition to the roster. Nash gets a nice ball up front, and Walker puts it in. So we've only had two shots, both on target, both goals. Very efficient so far. Possession's actually pretty even at the moment. Twenty-sixth minute. Can we get another one? Here's Nash again. This is looking like he might be a good pickup for me. I wish he had a little more speed, though. Maybe I spoke too soon. Callow's probably the weakest part of my roster at the moment, that left back. And there he goes running down the field like he owns a place. Come on, Walker. All right, we're 
playing cautious, so we're not trying to force it in there right now. Uh, that was that was a pretty poor send in. That was that was probably callow. Oh, that's Nash there. There you go, Nash. Nash and Giverin been the the duo today. There's another. Oh no, he was offside. Oh. I'm going to see that one going. Yeah, he was. Oh, he could have just been back a little further because he still would have been ahead of the defense that was closest to him. Oh, could have been a goal there, too. Lots of chances right now. Even though we're playing a cautious style, we seem to be really getting all oh, some nice opportunities. He was offside anyway. There you go, Walker. There you go, Craig. Oh, you got to make this one count. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Off the post. A disallowed goal. One off the post. Still up 2 nothing, but man, we could easily be up 4 or 5 right now. And this isn't a bad team. This is a top 10 team we're playing. I think Ren's Ness is in 7th right now. Nice, nice. With one or two exceptions, this is pretty much the team we're going to roll with this season. He's way offside. Come on, dude. you got to watch where you're lined up. All right, we're going to take a look at things here. So far, so good, but let's look at uh, no yellow cards so far. The, the folks that I could sub in all are pretty poor mat sharpness, but we might go ahead and bring in a sub anyway. Let's just keep control of it. Look for more opportunities. I'd like to have at least one more goal. Get a 3 nothing lead. That should be pretty hard for him to overcome. All right, Hoban, get it in there. Let's get a nice cross. There you go. Oh, own goal. Own goal. Nice job, Reese. <laughs> that was lovely. This has been a nice game for me because I've, I've struggled in the last couple of matches. After I went five unbeaten, and then I, uh, I had a couple of rough matches there. So this has been a much needed pick me up. We're really playing well here today. Come on, Walker. Wow. What? Are you kidding me? That was outstanding. What a goal. I was about to criticize him for taking that shot from back there, but man, was I wrong. Let's watch that one again. He takes it all the way himself. Goes right down the center of the field and shoots it. Oh, wow. That was nice. Been very efficient with our shots. Ten shots, six on target, four goals. He's going to try to get one back here, and he does. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Cameron Walker looking for the chance for that hat trick. Let's go ahead and bring in... Phil Smith, we're going to give him a little time at goal. We're also going to try to get some more match sharpness. Maybe we get Giverin out of there at this point. I don't know. It doesn't look like I have a sub for him. I could I could bring in Balogun. At least get him a little playing time, even though that's not his natural position. Just what I don't want to have happen right now is uh, go down a man and give him a chance to come back in this thing. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me he's going to get two goals in the span of just a couple of minutes. 
And I just subbed out my goalie too. <laughs> oh, no. Right at him. Nice job, Phil. Phil Smith with the stop. Of course, I, I could have stopped that one blindfolded. All right, we're getting into uh, the final moments of this one. It's going to be a really nice win for me today. A much-needed victory. Walker, of course, the player of the game. Still a couple of minutes here. Still a chance. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me it's going to be a red card. It is. It's a red card. Nice job, Tag. At least there's only three minutes left. All right, he might get one more here. I've had, is that, I think that's my third red card this season, and there's another goal. That was a nice left-footed goal there at the end. All right, thankfully he's going to run out of time. All right, beautiful victory. Let's take a look at the standings now. That's actually my ninth match of the season. We've got the big showdown coming against Bromyard Town. We'll go ahead and, and play that one out, and that'll be the end of this third episode. But uh, let's take a look at the, the competition situation here. Uh, there's the top two teams. Of course, I've played one more match than Bromyard has at this point, uh, so it's a little misleading. Same with Wirely. In fact, most of the other top teams haven't played their ninth match yet, so I may not be sitting as well as I think I am. Big signing to report. We've got a new central defender that's rated really high, Darnell Smith. Let's take a look at him here. 20 years old. He's a pretty solid defender. He most recently played for Barnett, which I believe is a higher-ranking club. Yeah, they're all the way up in the Vanarama National League. That's one of the higher leagues uh, in the English Pyramid. So uh, pretty excited to have a player of his caliber. He never actually appeared in any matches for them, but he was on their roster. So I'm not sure... Exactly why it is that he was available to us here, but you can see he's pretty physically fit. Uh, he's got a good teamwork and work rate, uh, good bravery. He's got some decent stats in the areas that we need him to be in. So we're going to see how that helps kind of plug the, the uh, defensive line there in the center with our big match coming. And uh, just looking at the competitions, still most of the other top teams have not played their ninth match, and we have, but that doesn't make this match against Bromyard any less important. All right, as we get ready for this match, we've added a head physio. That's going to hopefully help uh, with our players and keeping them healthy, keeping them fit. We've got a bunch of offers for one of our players here. 80 bids have been made. 26 clubs are interested in uh, Sandy, and that's not even somebody that really plays all that much for me. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this huge, huge match that we've got. Let's go ahead and take a look. I don't think anybody else has played any further matches. So here we go. It's a matchup of the top two teams in the West Midlands Regional League right now. So here we go. We've been pretty inconsistent. We've only won two of our last five matches. Two wins, two draws, and a loss. Uh, James Tag is suspended because of that red card in the last match. We're facing a Bromyard team that is has won four out of five, but we are still considered to be the favorites. All right, so here we go. Match of the season so far, and right off the bat, Bromyard striker gets a yellow card. If we could get him to get a second, man, would that make things better. But at the very least, he's going to have to play a little more cautiously now. And we are playing cautious. It seemed to work out nicely in the last match. There's Smith with his first touch that we've seen, our newest central defender. Craig currently has the highest passing completion percentage of any player in the entire league right now i'm feeling pretty good about this squad we've got up front oh that's gonna be a penalty kick right there baby oh yeah right off the bat here we go a chance to get an early lead on the first place team come on walker yes all right things have started off really well for us so far that's cameron walker's fifth goal of the season and he didn't even play for me in the first few matches so that appears to be our go-to guy moving forward. We don't need to see that one again. 
So far, so good. 58% is the uh, possession percentage for us, and we're playing cautiously. Cautious seems to be the way to go for me. And here's Walker with another chance up front. Can he get a second goal? Chip it in over. Oh, wow. Just off the post. Could have had a second one in the first 13 minutes. That would have been huge. His team's got three yellow cards already. They are rattled. They're rattled. They weren't expecting this. My team's starting to come together. I'm feeling good. Feeling real good right now. So shots are pretty even now at this point. 14 fouls, though, for his side. We're just being more efficient. Come on, Craig. Get it out of there. There it is. Oh, Gibber in with the third goal of the season. And that puts us up. Two to nothing. It's looking good right now, folks. It's looking real good. His team's already on their heels with their fourth yellow card of the match. They're running out of places to put those yellow cards without somebody getting a second one. 17 fouls. Just not a disciplined team, Bromyard, right now. Not at all. There's our first. And that's our, our newest player. That's Smith. We've got to be careful there. I'm going to have to tell him to back off a little bit. It's starting to rain now. It's going to make things a bit more of a challenge. We need to get that out. No, 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 no. Come on. Yes. McCulloch with the beautiful stop. McCulloch, it really is a fantastic goalie. Glad I was able to pick him up. Smith's actually lacking in match sharpness anyway. So this may be an opportunity to go ahead and say, hey, you've had a great match, and we're glad we have you, but let's go ahead and sit you down now. And there, Nash just picked one up too. And Blair. We're starting to get a little sloppy here in the second half. I'm not real happy about that. We're going to go ahead and get Blair out of there. I do not want to want to risk this important match because somebody picked up a red card oh yeah oh yeah that's you're gone buddy you're gone you're gone see ya <laughs> you know what let's go ahead and get a little more aggressive now shall we come on walker let's get a hat trick there it is. No, that's not a hat trick for him. He didn't get the, the second goal. But that is his second game in a row with at least two. Walker. Beautiful. You know, I was hoping I had a chance to eke this out. I really was not expecting to dominate like this. I'm really very pleased with this. Might have a chance for a fourth here. There it is. McCormick with his third goal of the season. It is a rout, folks. We are dominating the first place team right now, and I could not possibly be happier about it. 89th minute, and he has a second player with a red card. So we're actually playing with a two-man advantage now. So there you have it. 4 nothing. A huge win. We get the points necessary to at least move into first place, even though... It's technically maybe not first place because of the way the standings are. But let's go ahead and wrap it up by taking a look at things here. At least as it shows, it's showing us in first place. Uh, Wirely's got one fewer uh, match completed. Uh, so that, that's a little misleading. But uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with how things are going. I feel like things are looking up. And we will be back in a few days with another episode. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.